Italian cuisine is food typical of Italy. It has developed through centuries of social and economic changes, with roots stretching to antiquity. Significant changes occurred with the discovery of the New World and the introduction of potatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, maize and sugar beet, this last introduced in quantity in the 18th century. Italian cuisine is known for its regional diversity, especially between the north and the south of the Italian peninsula. It offers an abundance of taste, and is one of the most popular and copied in the world. It influenced several cuisines around the world, chiefly that of the United States. Italian cuisine is generally characterized by its simplicity, with many dishes having only two to four main ingredients. Italian cooks rely chiefly on the quality of the ingredients rather than on elaborate preparation. Ingredients and dishes vary by region. Many dishes that were once regional have proliferated with variations throughout the country. History Italian cuisine has developed over the centuries. Although the country known as Italy did not unite until the 19th century, the cuisine can claim traceable roots as far back as the 4th century BCE. Food and culture was very important at that time as we can see from the cookbook, Apicius, which dates back to 1st century BC. Through the centuries, neighboring regions, conquerors, high-profile chefs, political upheaval, and the discovery of the New World have influenced its development. Italian food started to form after the fall of the Roman Empire, when different cities began to separate and form their own traditions. Many different types of bread and pasta were made, and there was a variation in cooking techniques and preparation. The country was split. Regional cuisine is represented by some of the major cities in Italy. For example, Milan, north of Italy, is known for its risottos, Bologna, the central, middle of the country, is known for its tortellini and Naples, the south, is famous for its pizzas and spaghettis. Antiquity The first known Italian food writer was a Greek Sicilian named Archistratus from Syracuse in the 4th century BCE. He wrote a poem that spoke of using top quality and seasonal ingredients. He said that flavors should not be masked by spices, herbs or other seasonings. He placed importance on simple preparation of fish. Simplicity was abandoned and replaced by a culture of gastronomy as the Roman Empire developed. By the time De Re Coconaria was published in the 1st century CE, it contained 470 recipes calling for heavy use of spices and herbs. The Romans employed Greek bakers to produce breads and imported cheeses from Sicily as the Sicilians had a reputation as the best cheesemakers. The Romans reared goats for butchering, and grew artichokes and leeks. Middle Ages With culinary traditions from Rome and Athens, a cuisine developed in Sicily that some consider the first real Italian cuisine. Arabs invaded Sicily in the 9th century, introducing spinach, almonds, and rice. During the 12th century, a Norman king surveyed Sicily and saw people making long strings made from flour and water called atria, which eventually became tree, a term still used for spaghetti in southern Italy. Normans also introduced casseroles, salt cod, bacala, and stockfish, all of which remain popular. Food preservation was either chemical or physical, as refrigeration did not exist. Meats and fish were smoked, dried, or kept on ice. Brine and salt were used to pickle items such as herring, and to cure pork. Root vegetables were preserved in brine after they had been parboiled. Other means of preservation included oil, vinegar, or immersing meat in congealed, rendered fat. For preserving fruits, liquor, honey, and sugar were used. The northern Italian regions show a mix of Germanic and Roman culture while the south reflects Arab influence, as much Mediterranean cuisine was spread by Arab trade. The oldest Italian book on cuisine is the 13th century Liber de Cacina written in Naples. Dishes include Roman style, cabbage, ad usum Romanorum, ad usum Campani, which were small leaves, prepared in the Campanian manner. A bean dish from the Marca di Trevisio, a torta, compositum Londerticum which are similar to dishes prepared today. Two other books from the 14th century include recipes for Roman pastello, lasagna pie, and call for the use of salt from Sardinia or Chioga. In the 15th century, Maestro Martino was chef to the Patriarch of Aquileia at the Vatican. His Libro de Arte Coconaria describes a more refined and elegant cuisine. 
His book contains a recipe for macaroni siciliani, made by wrapping dough around a thin iron rod to dry in the sun. The macaroni was cooked in capon stock flavored with saffron, displaying Persian influences. Of particular note is Martino's avoidance of excessive spices in favor of fresh herbs. The Roman recipes include copiat, air-dried salami, and cabbage dishes. His Florentine dishes include eggs with bolognese torta, Sienese torta and Genoese recipes such as piperata, sweets, macaroni, squash, mushrooms, and spinach pie with onions, Martino. S. Text was included in a 1475 book by Bartolomeo Platina printed in Venice entitled De Honesta Voluptate et Valitudin. On Honest Pleasure and Good Health. Platina puts Martino's. Libro. In regional context, writing about perch from Lake Maggiore, sardines from Lake Garda, grayling from Ada, hens from Padua, olives from Bologna and Pacino, turbot from Ravenna, rudd from Lake Trasimeno, carrots from Viterbo, bass from the Tiber, rovilioni and shad from Lake Albano, snails from Riti, figs from Tuscolo, grapes from Narni, oil from Cassino, oranges from Naples and eels from Campania. Grains from Lombardy and Campania are mentioned as its honey from Sicily and Taranto. Wine from the Ligurian coast, Greco from Tuscany and San Severino, and Trebbiano from Tuscany and Pacino are also mentioned in the book. Early modern era The courts of Florence, Rome, Venice, and Ferrara were central to the cuisine. Cristoforo di Messisbugo, steward to Ippolito d'Est, published Banchetti Composizioni di Vivandi in 1549. Messisbugo gives recipes for pies and tarts, containing 124 recipes with various fillings. The work emphasizes the use of eastern spices and sugar. In 1570, Bartolomeo Scappi, personal chef to Pope Pius V, wrote his opera in five volumes, giving a comprehensive view of Italian cooking of that period. It contains over 1,000 recipes, with information on banquets including displays and menus as well as illustrations of kitchen and table utensils. This book differs from most books written for the royal courts in its preference for domestic animals and courtyard birds rather than game. Recipes include lesser cuts of meats such as tongue, head, and shoulder. The third volume has recipes for fish in Lent. These fish recipes are simple, including poaching, broiling, grilling, and frying after marination. Particular attention is given to seasons and places where fish should be caught. The final volume includes pies, tarts, fritters, and a recipe for a sweet Neapolitan pizza, not the current savory version, as tomatoes had not yet been introduced to Italy. However, such items from the New World as corn, maize, and turkey are included. In the first decade of the 17th century, Gian Giacomo Castelvetro wrote Breve Ricanto di tutte le radici di tutte l. Herb et di tutti i frutti, a brief account of all roots, herbs, and fruit, translated into English by Gillian Riley. Originally from Modena, Castelvetro moved to England because he was a Protestant. The book lists Italian vegetables and fruits along with their preparation. He featured vegetables as a central part of the meal, not just as accompaniments. Castelvetro favored simmering vegetables in salted water and serving them warm or cold with olive oil, salt, fresh ground pepper, lemon juice, verges, or orange juice. He also suggested roasting vegetables wrapped in damp paper over charcoal or embers with a drizzle of olive oil. Castelvetro S book is separated into seasons with hop shoots in the spring and truffles in the winter, detailing the use of pigs in the search for truffles. In 1662, Bartolomeo Stefani, chef to the Duchy of Mantua, published L'Arte di Ben Cucinare. He was the first to offer a section on Vito Ordinario. Ordinary food. The book described a banquet given by Duke Charles for Queen Christina of Sweden, with details of the food and table settings for each guest, including a knife, fork, spoon, glass, a plate, instead of the bowls more often used, and a napkin. Other books from this time, such as Galatheo by Giovanni della Casa, tell how scalci waiters should manage themselves while serving their guests. Waiters should not scratch their heads or other parts of themselves, or spit, sniff, cough, or sneeze while serving diners. The book also told diners not to use their fingers while eating and not to wipe sweat with their napkin. 
Modern era At the beginning of the 18th century, Italian culinary books began to emphasize the regionalism of Italian cuisine rather than French cuisine. Books written then were no longer addressed to professional chefs but to bourgeois housewives. Periodicals in booklet form such as La Cuoca Cremonese the Cook of Cremona, in 1794 give a sequence of ingredients according to season along with chapters on meat, fish, and vegetables. As the century progressed these books increased in size, popularity, and frequency. In the 18th century, medical texts warned peasants against eating refined foods as it was believed that these were poor for their digestion and their bodies required heavy meals. It was believed by some that peasants ate poorly because they preferred eating poorly. However, many peasants had to eat rotten food and moldy bread because that was all they could afford. In 1779, Antonio Nebbia from Maserata in the Marque region wrote Il Cuoco Macerates, the cook of Maserata. Nebbia addressed the importance of local vegetables and pasta, rice, and gnocchi. For stock, he preferred vegetables and chicken over other meats. In 1773, the Neapolitan Vincenzo Corrado's Il Cuoco Galanti, the courteous cook, gave particular emphasis to Vito Pitagorico, vegetarian food. Pythagorean food consists of fresh herbs, roots, flowers, fruits, seeds and all that is produced in the earth for our nourishment. It is so called because Pythagoras, as is well known, only used such produce. There is no doubt that this kind of food appears to be more natural to man, and the use of meat is noxious." This book was the first to give the tomato a central role with 13 recipes. Zuppa Ali Pomodoro in Corrado's book is a dish similar to today's Tuscan Papa al Pomodoro. Corrado. S. 1798 edition introduced a treatise on the potato, after the French Antoine Augustin Parmentier's successful promotion of the tuber. In 1790, Francesco Leonardi in his book L. Apicio Moderno Modern Apicius sketches a history of the Italian cuisine from the Roman age and gives as first a recipe of a tomato-based sauce. In the 19th century, Giovanni Violardi, chef to King Victor Emmanuel, wrote a treatise of modern cookery and patisserie with recipes suitable for a modest household. Many of his recipes are for regional dishes from Turin, including 12 for potatoes such as Genoese cap and magro. In 1829, Il Nuovo Cuoco Milanese Economico by Giovanni Felice Larashi featured Milanese dishes such as kidney with anchovies and lemon and gnocchi alla romana. Gian Battista and Giovanni Ratto's La Cucina Genovese in 1871 addressed the cuisine of Liguria. This book contained the first recipe for pesto. La Cucina Teorico Pratica written by Ippolito Cavalcanti described the first recipe for pasta with tomatoes, La Scienza in Cucina e l'Arte di Mangiare Bene The Science of Cooking and the Art of Eating Well, by Pellegrino Artusi, first published in 1891, is widely regarded as the canon of classic modern Italian cuisine, and it is still in print. Its recipes predominantly originate from Romagna and Tuscany, where he lived. Ingredients. Italian cuisine has a great variety of different ingredients which are commonly used, ranging from fruits, vegetables, sauces, meats, etc. In the north of Italy, fish such as cod, or bacala, potatoes, rice, corn, maize, sausages, pork, and different types of cheeses are the most common ingredients. Pasta dishes with use of tomato are spread in all Italy. Italians like their ingredients fresh and subtly seasoned and spiced. In northern Italy, though, there are many kinds of stuffed pasta, polenta, and risotto are equally popular, if not more so. Ligurian ingredients include several types of fish and seafood dishes. Basil, found in pesto, nuts, and olive oil are very common. In Emilia Romagna, common ingredients include ham, prosciutto, sausage, cotecchino, different sorts of salami, truffles, grana, parmigiano reggiano, and tomatoes, bolognese sauce or ragu. Traditional Central Italian cuisine uses ingredients such as tomatoes, all kinds of meat, fish, and pecorino cheese. In Tuscany, pasta, especially pappardelle, is traditionally served with meat sauce, including game meat. 
In southern Italy, tomatoes, fresh or cooked into tomato sauce, peppers, olives and olive oil, garlic, artichokes, oranges, ricotta cheese, eggplants, zucchini, certain types of fish, anchovies, sardines and tuna, and capers are important components to the local cuisine. Italian cuisine is also well known, and well regarded, for its use of a diverse variety of pasta. Pasta include noodles in various lengths, widths, and shapes. Most pastas may be distinguished by the shapes for which they are named penne, macaroni, spaghetti, linguine, fusilli, lasagna, and many more varieties that are filled with other ingredients like ravioli and tortellini. The word pasta is also used to refer to dishes in which pasta products are a primary ingredient. It is usually served with sauce. There are hundreds of different shapes of pasta with at least locally recognized names. Examples include spaghetti, thin rods, rigatoni, tubes or cylinders, fusilli, swirls, and lasagna, sheets. Dumplings, like gnocchi, made with potatoes or pumpkin, and noodles like spatzel, are sometimes considered pasta. They are both traditional in parts of Italy. Pasta is categorized in two basic styles, dried and fresh. Dried pasta made without eggs can be stored for up to two years under ideal conditions, while fresh pasta will keep for a couple of days in the refrigerator. Pasta is generally cooked by boiling. Under Italian law, dry pasta pasta secca can only be made from durum wheat flour or durum wheat semolina, and is more commonly used in southern Italy compared to their northern counterparts, who traditionally prefer the fresh egg variety. Durum flour and durum semolina have a yellow tinge in color. Italian pasta is traditionally cooked al dente, Italian, firm to the bite, meaning not too soft. Outside Italy, dry pasta is frequently made from other types of flour, but this yields a softer product. There are many types of wheat flour with varying gluten and protein levels depending on variety of grain used. Particular varieties of pasta may also use other grains and milling methods to make the flour, as specified by law. Some pasta varieties, such as pizzocchieri, are made from buckwheat flour. Fresh pasta may include eggs, pasta olivo, egg pasta. Whole wheat pasta has become increasingly popular because of its supposed health benefits over pasta made from refined flour. Regional variation. Each area has its own specialties, primarily at a regional level, but also at provincial level. The differences can come from a bordering country, such as France or Austria, whether a region is close to the sea or the mountains, and economics. Italian cuisine is also seasonal with priority placed on the use of fresh produce. Abruzzo and Molise Pasta, meat, and vegetables are central to the cuisine of Abruzzo and Molise. Chili peppers pepperoncini are typical of Abruzzo, where they are called diavoletti. Little Devils, for their spicy heat. Due to the long history of shepherding in Abruzzo and Molise, lamb dishes are common. Lamb is often paired with pasta. Mushrooms, usually wild mushrooms, rosemary, and garlic are also extensively used in Abruzzese cuisine. Best known as the extra virgin olive oil produced in the local farms on the hills of the region, marked by the quality level DOP and considered one of the best in the country. Renowned wines like Montepulciano d'Ocg and Trebbiano di Abruzzo d'Oc are considered amongst the world's finest wines. In 2012 a bottle of Trebbiano di Abruzzo Colline Terramane ranked number one in the top 50 Italian Wine Award. Centerb. 100 Herbs is a strong, 72% alcohol, spicy herbal liqueur drunk by the locals. Another liqueur is Genziana, a soft distillate of gentian roots. The best known dish from Abruzzo is a rosticini, little pieces of castrated lamb on a wooden stick and cooked on coals. The chitara, literally, guitar, is a fine string tool that pasta dough is pressed through for cutting. In the province of Taramo, famous local dishes include the virtue soup made with legumes, vegetables, and pork meat, the timbalo, pasta sheets filled with meat, vegetables or rice, and the mazarelle, lamb intestines filled with garlic, marjoram, lettuce, and various spices. The popularity of saffron, grown in the province of L'Aquila, has waned in recent years. 
The most famous dish of Molise is cavatelli, a long-shaped, handmade macaroni-type pasta made of flour, semolina, and water, often served with meat sauce, broccoli, or mushrooms. Pizel cookies are a common dessert, especially around Christmas. Basilicata The cuisine of Basilicata is mostly based on inexpensive ingredients and deeply anchored in rural traditions. Pork is an integral part of the regional cuisine, often made into sausages or roasted on a spit. Famous dry sausages from the region are Lucanica and Soprasada. Wild boar, mutton, and lamb are also popular. Pasta sauces are generally based on meats or vegetables. Spicy pepperoncini is largely used, as well as the so-called pepperoni crushy. Crunchy peppers. The region produces cheeses like Pecorino di Filiano, Canestrato di Moliterne, Poloni di Gravina, and Padraccio and olive oils like the vulture. Basilicata is known for spaghetti like pasta tricoli and capunti, a thick and short oval pasta whose shape is often compared to that of an open empty pea pod. Capunti are usually served with a hearty vegetable tomato sauce or various meat sauces. Among the traditional dishes are legain e sassi, also known as piatto del briganti, brigand's dish, pasta prepared with chickpeas and peeled tomatoes, raffinata, a type of omelet with horseradish, siadetta, a vegetable stew with artichokes, potatoes, broad beans, and pancetta, and the bacala alla lucana, one of the few recipes made with fish. Desserts include tarali dolci, made with sugar glaze and scented with anise and calzoncelli, fried pastries filled with a cream of chestnuts and chocolate. The most famous wine of the region is the Aglianico del Vulture. Others include Matera, Terra del Alta Val di Agri and Gradino di Roccanova. Basilicata is also known for its mineral waters which are sold widely in Italy. The springs are mostly located in the volcanic basin of the Vulture area. Calabria in Calabria, a history of French rule under the House of Anjou and Napoleon, along with Spanish influences, affected the language and culinary skills as seen in the naming of things such as cake, gato, from the French gâteau. Seafood includes swordfish, shrimp, lobster, sea urchin, and squid. Macaroni-type pasta is widely used in regional dishes, often served with goat, beef, or pork sauce and salty ricotta. Main courses include frittuli prepared by boiling pork rind, meat, and trimmings in pork fat, different varieties of spicy sausages like duha and capicola, goat, and land snails. Melon and watermelon are traditionally served in a chilled fruit salad or wrapped in ham. Calabrian wines include Greco di Bianco, Bivangi, Chiro, Dominici, Lamazia, Melissa, Polino, Santana di Azola Capo Rizzuto, San Vito di Luzzi, Savuto, Scavigna, and Berbacaro. Calabrese pizza has a Neapolitan-based structure with fresh tomato sauce and a cheese base, but is unique because of its spicy flavor. Some of the ingredients included in a calabrese pizza are thinly sliced hot soppressata, hot capicola, hot peppers, and fresh mozzarella. Campania Campania extensively produces tomatoes, peppers, spring onions, potatoes, artichokes, fennel, lemons, and oranges which all take on the flavor of volcanic soil. The Gulf of Naples offers fish and seafood. Campania is one of the largest producers and consumers of pasta in Italy, especially spaghetti. In the regional cuisine, pasta is prepared in various styles that can feature tomato sauce, cheese, clams, and shellfish. Spaghetti alla puttanesca is a popular dish made with olives, tomatoes, anchovies, capers, chili peppers, and garlic. The region is well known also for its mozzarella production, especially from the milk of water buffalo, that's used in a variety of dishes, including parmigiana, shallow fried eggplant slices layered with cheese and tomato sauce, then baked. Desserts include strufoli, deep-fried balls of dough, ricotta-based pastiera and sfogliatelle, and rum-dipped baba, originating in Neapolitan cuisine. Pizza has become popular in many different parts of the world. Pizza is an oven-baked, flat, disc-shaped bread typically topped with a tomato sauce, cheese, usually mozzarella, and various toppings depending on the culture. Since the original pizza, several other types of pizzas have evolved. 
Since Naples was the capital of the Kingdom of Two Sicilies, its cuisine took much from the culinary traditions of all the Campania region, reaching a balance between dishes based on rural ingredients pasta, vegetables, cheese, and seafood dishes fish, crustaceans, mollusks. A vast variety of recipes is influenced by the local aristocratic cuisine, like timbalo and the sartu di riso, pasta or rice dishes with very elaborate preparation, while the dishes coming from the popular traditions contain inexpensive but nutritionally healthy ingredients, like pasta with beans and other pasta dishes with vegetables. Famous regional wines are Aglianico Tarasi, Piano, Falangina, and Greco di Tufo. Emilia Romagna Emilia Romagna is known for its egg and filled pasta made with soft wheat flour. The Romagna subregion is renowned for pasta dishes like capelletti, garganelli, strazzapretti, sfoglia lorda, and tortelli alla lastra as well as cheeses such as squawkerone. Piadina snacks are also a specialty of the subregion. In the Emilia subregion, except Piacenza which is heavily influenced by the cuisines of Lombardy, rice is eaten to a lesser extent. Polenta, a maize-based dish, is common in both Emilia and Romagna. Bologna and Modena are notable for pasta dishes like tortellini, lasagna, gramigna, and tagliatelle which are found also in many other parts of the region in different declinations. The celebrated balsamic vinegar is made only in the Emilian cities of Modena and Reggio Emilia, following legally binding traditional procedures. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese is produced in Reggio Emilia, Parma, Modena, and Bologna and is often used in cooking. Grana Padano cheese is produced in Piacenza. Although the Adriatic coast is a major fishing area, well known for its eels and clams, the region is more famous for its meat products, especially pork-based, that include Parma's prosciutto, culatello, and felino salami, Piacenza. S. Pancetta, Capa, and Salami, Bologna. S. Mortadella and Salami Rosa, Modena. S. Zamponi, Cotecchino, and Capello del Prete, and Ferrera's Salama da Sugo. Piacenza is also known for some dishes prepared with horse and donkey meat. Regional desserts include zuppa inglese, custard-based dessert made with sponge cake and alkermes liqueur, and panpepato, Christmas cake made with pepper, chocolate, spices, and almonds. Friuli Venezia Giulia Friuli Venezia Giulia conserved, in its cuisine, the historical links with Austria-Hungary. Udine and Perdinone, in the western part of Friuli, are known for their traditional San Daniele del Friuli ham, Montasio cheese, and Frica cheese. Other typical dishes are patina, meatballs made of smoked meats, game, and various types of gnocchi and polenta. The majority of the eastern regional dishes are heavily influenced by Austrian, Hungarian, Slovene and Croatian cuisines. Typical dishes include Istrian stew, soup of beans, sauerkraut, potatoes, bacon, and spare ribs, Vienna sausages, goulash, savapi, apple strudel, gugelhof. Pork can be spicy and is often prepared over an open hearth called a fogoler. Colio Goriziano, Friuli Asanzo, Coli Orientali del Friuli, and Rimondolo are well-known dock regional wines. Liguria Liguria is known for herbs and vegetables, as well as seafood, in its cuisine. Savory pies are popular, mixing greens and artichokes along with cheeses, milk curds, and eggs. Onions and olive oil are used. Because of a lack of land suitable for wheat, the Ligurians use chickpeas in farinata and polenta like panisa. The former is served plain or topped with onions, artichokes, sausage, cheese or young anchovies. Hilly districts use chestnuts as a source of carbohydrates. Ligurian pastas include corzetti from the Polcevera Valley, pansati, a triangular-shaped ravioli filled with vegetables, pakaj, pasta ribbons made with a small amount of egg and served with artichoke sauce or pesto sauce, trinette, made from whole wheat flour cut into long strips and served with pesto, boiled beans and potatoes, and trophy, a Ligurian gnocchi made from whole grain flour and boiled potatoes, made into a spiral shape and often tossed in pesto. Many Ligurians emigrated to Argentina in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, influencing the cuisine of the country, which was otherwise dominated by meat and dairy products that the narrow Ligurian hinterland would have not allowed. Lazio 
Pasta dishes based on the use of guanciale, unsmoked bacon prepared with pig's jowl or cheeks, are often found in Lazio, such as pasta alla carbonara and pasta al. Amatriciana. Another pasta dish of the region is arrabbiata, with spicy tomato sauce. The regional cuisine widely use offal, resulting in dishes like the entrail-based rigatoni with pajata sauce and coda alla vaccinara, iconic of Lazio as cheese made from ewes. Milk, pecorino romano, porchetta, savory, fatty, and moist boneless pork roast, and frascati white wine. The influence of the ancient Jewish community can be noticed in the Roman cuisine. S. Traditional Carchofi alla Judea. Lombardi The regional cuisine of Lombardy is heavily based upon ingredients like maize, rice, beef, pork, butter, and lard. Rice dishes are very popular in this region, often found in soups as well as risotto. The best known version is risotto alla Milanese, flavored with saffron and typically served with many typical Milanese main courses, such as asobuco alla Milanese, cross-cut veal shanks braised with vegetables, white wine and broth, and cotoletta alla Milanese, a fried cutlet similar to wiener schnitzel, but cooked bone in. Other regional specialities include cassoula, a typical winter dish prepared with cabbage and pork, cremona. S. Mostarda, rich condiment made with candied fruit and a mustard flavored syrup, Valtellina. S. Bresola, air dried salted beef, and pizzocari, a flat ribbon pasta made with 80% buckwheat flour and 20% wheat flour cooked along with greens, cubed potatoes, and layered with pieces of Valtellina casera cheese, and Mantua's tortelli di zucca, ravioli with pumpkin filling, accompanied by melted butter and followed by turkey stuffed with chicken or other stewed meats. Regional cheeses include Ribiola, Crescenza, Taleggio, Gorgonzola, and Grana Padano. The plains of central and southern Lombardy allow intensive cattle farming. Polenta is common across the region. Regional desserts include the famous Panettone Christmas cake, sweet bread with candied orange, citron, and lemon zest, as well as raisins, which are added dry and not soaked. Marque on the coast of Marque, fish and seafood are produced. Inland, wild and domestic pigs are used for sausages and hams. These hams are not thinly sliced, but cut into bite-sized chunks. Suckling pig, chicken, and fish are often stuffed with rosemary or fennel fronds and garlic before being roasted or placed on the spit. Escoli, Marque's southernmost province, is well known for olive oil. Ascalana, stoned olives stuffed with several minced meats, egg, and parmesan, then fried. Another well-known Marque product are the Macarancini di Campofalone, from little town of Campofalone, a kind of handmade pasta made only of hard grain flour and eggs, cut so thin that melts in one's mouth. Piedmont between the Alps and the Po Valley, featuring a large number of different ecosystems, the Piedmont region offers the most refined and varied cuisine of the Italian peninsula. As a point of union between traditional Italian and French cuisine, Piedmont is the Italian region with the largest number of cheeses with protected geographical status and wines under dock. It is also the region where both the Slow Food Association and the most prestigious school of Italian cooking, the University of Gastronomic Sciences, were founded. Piedmont is a region where gathering nuts, mushrooms, and cardoons, as well as hunting and fishing are commonplace. Truffles, garlic, seasonal vegetables, cheese, and rice featured in the cuisine. Wines from the Nebbiolo grape such as Barolo and Barbaresco are produced as well as wines from the Barbera grape, fine sparkling wines, and the sweet, lightly sparkling, Moscato di Asti. The region is also famous for its vermouth and ratafia production. Castelmagno is a prized cheese of the region. Piedmont is also famous for the quality of its Karoo beef, particularly Bou Grasso. Fat ox. Hence the tradition of eating raw meat seasoned with garlic oil, lemon, and salt, carpaccio, risotto al vino, wine stew made from marinated beef, and boiled beef served with various sauces. The food most typical of the Piedmont tradition are the traditional annulati, pasta folded over with roast beef and vegetable stuffing, panisa, a typical dish of vercelli, a kind of risotto with arborio rice or maritelli rice, the typical kind of salugia beans, onion, barbera wine, lard, salami, salt, and pepper, tagliere 
Tagliarini, thinner version of tagliatelle, bagnacotta, sauce of garlic, anchovies, olive oil, and butter, and bicerin, hot drink made of coffee, chocolate, and whole milk. Piedmont is one of the Italian capitals of pastry and chocolate in particular, with products like Nutella, Gianduoto, and Marin Glacé that are famous worldwide. Puglia, Apulia Apulia is a massive food producer. Major production includes wheat, tomatoes, zucchini, broccoli, bell peppers, potatoes, spinach, eggplants, cauliflower, fennel, endive, chickpeas, lentils, beans, and cheese, like the traditional Casiocavallo cheese. Apulia is also the largest producer of olive oil in Italy. The sea offers abundant fish and seafood that are extensively used in the regional cuisine, especially oysters, and mussels. Goat and lamb are occasionally used. The region is known for pasta made from durum wheat and traditional pasta dishes featuring a reikiette type pasta, often served with tomato sauce, potatoes, mussels, or broccoli rabe. Pasta with cherry tomatoes and arugula is also popular. Regional desserts include zeppola, donuts usually topped with powdered sugar and filled with custard, jelly, cannoli style pastry cream, or a butter and honey mixture. For Christmas, Apulians make a very traditional rose-shaped pastry called cartilate. These are fried and dipped in vin cotto, which is a either a wine or fig juice reduction. Sardinia Suckling pig and wild boar are roasted on the spit or boiled in stews of beans and vegetables, thickened with bread. Herbs such as mint and myrtle are widely used in the regional cuisine. Sardinia also has many special types of bread, made dry, which keeps longer than high moisture breads. Also baked are carasau bread sivrashu, kokoi panadas, a highly decorative bread, and pistaku made with flour and water only, originally meant for herders, but often served at home with tomatoes, basil, oregano, garlic, and a strong cheese. Rock lobster, scampi, squid, tuna, and sardines are the predominant seafoods. Kazu martsu is a very strong cheese produced in Sardinia, but is of questionable legality due to hygiene concerns. Sicily Sicily shows traces of all the cultures which established themselves on the island over the last two millennia. Although its cuisine undoubtedly has a predominantly Italian base, Sicilian food also has Spanish, Greek and Arab influences. Dionysus is said to have introduced wine to the region, a trace of historical influence from ancient Greece. The ancient Romans introduced lavish dishes based on goose. The Byzantines favored sweet and sour flavors and the Arabs brought sugar, citrus, rice, spinach, and saffron. The Normans and Hohenstaufens had a fondness for meat dishes. The Spanish introduced items from the New World including chocolate, maize, turkey, and tomatoes. Much of the island's cuisine encourages the use of fresh vegetables such as eggplant, peppers, and tomatoes, as well as fish such as tuna, sea bream, sea bass, cuttlefish, and swordfish. In Trapani, in the extreme western corner of the island, North African influences are clear in the use of various couscous-based dishes, usually combined with fish. Mint is used extensively in cooking unlike the rest of Italy. Traditional specialties from Sicily include arancini, a form of deep-fried rice croquettes, pasta alla norma, caponata, pani ca musa, and a host of desserts and sweets such as cannoli, granita, and cassata. Typical of Sicily is marsala, a red, fortified wine similar to port and largely exported. Trentino Alto Adige before the Council of Trent in the middle of the 16th century, the region was known for the simplicity of its peasant cuisine. When the prelates of the Catholic Church established there, they brought the art of fine cooking with them. Later, also influences from Venice and the Austrian Habsburg Empire came in. The Trentino subregion produces various types of sausages, polenta, yogurt, cheese, potato cake, funnel cake, and freshwater fish. In the Sudoral, Alto Adige subregion, due to the German-speaking majority population, strong Austrian and Slavic influences prevail. The most renowned local product is traditional Speck Juniper flavored ham which, as Speck Alto Adige, is regulated by the European Union under the Protected Geographical Indication PGI, status. Goulash, Nodal, Apple Strudel, Kaiserschmarrn, Kropfen, Rosti, Spatzel, and Rye Bread are regular dishes, along with potatoes, dumpling, homemade sauerkraut, and lard. 
The territory of Balzano is also reputed for its Muller Thurgau white wines. Tuscany Simplicity is central to the Tuscan cuisine. Legumes, bread, cheese, vegetables, mushrooms, and fresh fruit are used. A good example of typical Tuscan food is ribolita, a notable soup whose name literally means reboiled. Like most Tuscan cuisine, the soup has peasant origins. Ribolita was originally made by reheating i.e. reboiling the leftover minestrone or vegetable soup from the previous day. There are many variations but the main ingredients always include leftover bread, cannellini beans, and inexpensive vegetables such as carrot, cabbage, beans, silverbeet, cavolo nero, Tuscan kale, onion, and olive oil. A regional Tuscan pasta known as pici resembles thick, grainy surfaced spaghetti, and is often rolled by hand. White truffles from San Miniato appear in October and November. High-quality beef, used for the traditional Florentine steak, come from the Chinina cattle breed of the Chiana Valley and the Maremana from Marema. Pork is also produced. The region is well known also for its rich game, especially wild boar, hare, fallow deer, roe deer, and pheasant that often are used to prepare pappardelle dishes. Regional desserts include panforte prepared with honey, fruits, and nuts, ricciarelli biscuits made using an almond base with sugar, honey, and egg white, and cavallucci cookies made with almonds, candied fruits, coriander, flour, and honey. Well-known regional wines include Brunello di Montalcino, Carmignano, Chianti, Morellino di Scansano, Perina, Sassicaia, and Bernaccia di San Gimignano. Umbria Many Umbrian dishes are prepared by boiling or roasting with local olive oil and herbs. Vegetable dishes are popular in the spring and summer, while fall and winter sees meat from hunting and black truffles from Norcia. Meat dishes include the traditional wild boar sausages, pheasants, geese, pigeons, frogs, and snails. Castelluccio is known for its lentils. Spoleto and Monteleone are known for spelt. Freshwater fish include losca, trout, freshwater perch, grayling, eel, barbel, whitefish, and tench. Orvieto and Sangrentino di Montefalco are important regional wines. Valle d'Osta in the Aosta Valley, bread-thickened soups are customary as well as cheese fondue, chestnuts, potatoes, rice. Polenta is a staple along with rye bread, smoked bacon, mozzetta cured chamois meat, and game from the mountains and forests. Butter and cream are important in stewed, roasted, and braised dishes. Typical regional products include fontina cheese, valet d. Aoste lard d. Arnaud, red wines and Genapi artemisia-based liqueur. Veneto Venice and many surrounding parts of Veneto are known for risotto, a dish whose ingredients can highly vary upon different areas. Fish and seafood are added in regions closer to the coast while pumpkin, asparagus, radicchio, and frog legs appear farther away from the Adriatic Sea. Made from finely ground maize meal, polenta is a traditional, rural food typical of Veneto and most of northern Italy. It may be included in stirred dishes and baked dishes. Polenta can be served with various cheese, stockfish, or meat dishes. Some polenta dishes include porcini, rapini, or other vegetables or meats, such as small song birds in the case of the Venetian and Lombard dish polenta eosei, or sausages. In some areas of Veneto it can be also made of a particular variety of cornmeal, named bianco perla, so that the color of polenta is white and not yellow, the so-called polenta bianca. Beans, peas, and other legumes are seen in these areas with pasta e fagioli beans and pasta and risi e bisi rice and peas. Venice features heavy dishes using exotic spices and sauces. Ingredients such as stockfish or simple marinated anchovies are found here as well. Less fish and more meat is eaten away from the coast. Other typical products are sausages such as suppressa vencentina, garlic salami, piave cheese, and asiago cheese. High-quality vegetables are prized, such as red radicchio from Treviso and white asparagus from Bassano del Grappa. Perhaps the most popular dish of Venice is fagato alla veneziana, thinly sliced veal liver sautéed with onions. Squid and cuttlefish are common ingredients, as is squid ink, called Nero di Sepia. 
Regional desserts include tiramisu, made of biscuits dipped in coffee, layered with a whipped mixture of egg yolks and mascarpone, and flavored with liquor and cocoa, bacoli, biscuits made with butter and vanilla, and nougat. The most celebrated Venetian wines include Bartolino, Prosecco, Sauve, Amarone, and Valpolicella dock wines. Meal structure Traditionally, meals in Italy typically contain four or five courses. Especially on weekends, meals are often seen as a time to spend with family and friends rather than simply for sustenance, thus, meals tend to be longer than in other cultures. During holidays such as Christmas and New Year's Eve, feasts can last for hours. Today, the traditional Italian menu is kept mainly for special events such as weddings, while an everyday menu includes only the first and or second course, the side dish, and coffee. A notable aspect of Italian meals is that the primo or first course is usually a more filling dish such as risotto or pasta. Italian cuisine also includes single courses, all-in-one courses, providing carbohydrates and proteins at the same time, e.g. pasta and legumes. Food establishments Each type of establishment has a defined role and traditionally sticks to it. Food establishments Drinks Coffee Italian-style coffee cafe, also known as espresso, is made from a blend of coffee beans. Espresso beans are roasted medium to medium dark in the north, and darker as one moves south. A common misconception is that espresso has more caffeine than other coffee, in fact the opposite is true. The longer roasting period extracts more caffeine. The modern espresso machine, invented in 1937 by Achille Gaja, uses a pump and pressure system with water heated to 90 to 95 degrees Celsius 194 to 203 degrees Fahrenheit and forced at high pressure through a few grams of finely ground coffee in 25 to 30 seconds, resulting in about 25 milliliters 0.85 fluid ounces, 2 tablespoons, of liquid. Home coffee makers are simpler but work under the same principle. La Napolitana is a four-part stovetop unit with grounds loosely placed inside a filter. The kettle portion is filled with water and once boiling, the unit is inverted to drip through the grounds. The Mocha per Il Café is a three-part stovetop unit that is placed on the stovetop with loosely packed grounds in a strainer. The water rises from steam pressure and is forced through the grounds into the top portion. In both cases, the water passes through the grounds just once. Espresso is usually served in a demitasse cup. Café macchiato is topped with a bit of steamed milk or foam, ristretto is made with less water, and is stronger, cappuccino is mixed or topped with steamed, mostly frothy, milk. It is generally considered a morning beverage, and usually is not taken after a meal. Cafilet is equal parts espresso and steamed milk, similar to café au lait, and is typically served in a large cup. Latte macchiato, spotted milk, is a glass of warm milk with a bit of coffee and café caretto is corrected with a few drops of an alcoholic beverage such as grappa or brandy. The Bicerin is also an Italian coffee, from Turin. It is a mixture of cappuccino and traditional hot chocolate, as it consists of a mix of coffee and drinking chocolate, and with a small addition of milk. It is quite thick, and often whipped cream foam with chocolate powder and sugar is added on top. Alcoholic beverages Wine Italy produces the largest amount of wine in the world and is both the largest exporter and consumer of wine. Only about a quarter of this wine is put into bottles for individual sale. Two-thirds is bulk wine used for blending in France and Germany. The wine distilled into spirits in Italy exceeds the production of wine in the entirety of the New World. There are 20 separate wine regions, those vineyards producing great wines are trying to do away with the old image of jug wine so often associated with Italian wine. To promote this, the Italian government passed the Denominazione di Origine Controllata law in 1963 to regulate place of origin, quality, production method, and type of grape. The designation Indicazione Geografica Tipica IGT, is a less restrictive designation to help a winemaker graduate to the DOC level. 
In 1980, the government created the Denominazione di Origin Controllata e Garantita (DOCG), reserved for only the best wines. In Italy, wine is commonly consumed alongside water in meals, which are rarely served without it, though it is extremely uncommon for meals to be served with any other drink, alcoholic or otherwise. Beer. Italy hosts a wide variety of different beers, which are usually pale lager. Beer is not as popular and widespread as wine, even though this is changing as beer becomes increasingly popular, and average beer consumption in Italy is less than in some other neighboring European nations, such as the United Kingdom, Germany, and Austria. Among many popular brands, the most notable Italian breweries are Peroni and Moretti. Beer in Italy is often drunk in pizzerias, and South Tyrol, German-speaking region, is the area where beer is made and consumed the most. Other there are also several other popular alcoholic drinks in Italy. Limoncello, a traditional lemon liqueur from Sicily and southern Italy, Sorrento, Amalfi and the Gulf of Naples, in general, is one of the most common. Made from lemon, it is an extremely strong drink which is usually consumed in very small proportions, in small glasses or cups. Amaro Sicilianos are common Sicilian digestives, made with herbs, which are usually drunk after heavy meals. Myrto, an herbal distillate made from the berries, red myrto, and leaves, white myrto, of the myrtle bush, is popular in Sardinia and other regions. Another well-known digestive is Amaro Lucano from Basilicata. Grappa is the typical alcoholic drink of northern Italy, generally associated with the culture of the Alps and of the Po Valley. The most famous grappas are distilled in Friuli Venezia Giulia, Veneto, Piedmont, and Trentino. The three most notable and recognizable Italian aperitifs are martini, vermouth, and campari. A sparkling drink which is becoming internationally popular as a less expensive substitute for French champagne is Prosecco, from the Veneto region. Desserts From the Italian perspective, cookies and candy belong to the same category of sweets. Traditional candies include candied fruits, torone, and nut brittles, all of which are still popular in the modern era. In medieval times, northern Italy became so famous for the quality of its stiff fruit pastes, similar to marmalade or conserves, except stiff enough to mold into shapes that paste of Genoa became a generic name for high-quality fruit conserves. Silver-coated almond dragées, which are called confetti, are thrown at weddings. The idea of including a romantic note with candy may have begun with Italian dragées, no later than the early 19th century, and is carried on with the multilingual love notes included in boxes of Italy's most famous chocolate, Bassi by Perugina in Milan. The most significant chocolate style is a combination of hazelnuts and milk chocolate, which is featured in Gianduja pastes like Nutella, which is made by Ferrero Spa in Alba, Piedmont, as well as Perugna. S. Bassi and many other chocolate confections. Holiday cuisine Every region has its own holiday recipes. During La Festa di San Giuseppe, Street. Joseph's Day, on 19 March, Sicilians give thanks to St. Joseph for preventing a famine during the Middle Ages. The fava bean saved the population from starvation, and is a traditional part of St. Joseph's Day altars and traditions. Other customs celebrating this festival include wearing red clothing, eating Sicilian pastries known as zeppoli and giving food to the poor. On Easter Sunday, lamb is served throughout Italy. A typical Easter Sunday breakfast in Umbria and Tuscany includes salami, boiled eggs, wine, Easter cakes, and pizza. The common cake for Easter Day is the Columba Pasquale, literally, Easter dough, which is often simply known as Italian Easter cake. Abroad, it is supposed to represent the dove, and is topped with almonds and pearl sugar. On Christmas Eve a symbolic fast is observed with the Cena di Magro. Light dinner. A meatless meal. Typical cakes of the Christmas season are Panettone and Pondoro. Abroad. Africa 
Due to several Italian colonies established in Africa, mainly in Ethiopia, Eritrea, Libya, and Somalia except the northern part, which was under British rule, there is a considerable amount of Italian influence on the cuisines of these nations. Libya Italy's legacy from the days when Libya was invaded by Italy can be seen in the popularity of pasta on its menus, particularly sharba, a highly spiced Libyan soup. Bazin, a local specialty, is a hard paste, made from barley, salt and water, and one of the most popular meals in the Libyan cuisine is batata mubatana, filled potato. It consists of fried potato pieces filled with spiced minced meat and covered with egg and breadcrumbs. South Africa All major cities and towns in South Africa have substantial populations of Italians. There are Italian clubs in all main cities and they have had a significant influence on the cuisine of this country. Italian foods, like ham and cheeses, are imported and some also made locally, and every city has a popular Italian restaurant or two, as well as pizzerias. Pastas are popular and is eaten more and more by South Africans. The production of good quality olive oil is on the rise in South Africa, especially in the drier southwestern parts where there is a more Mediterranean type of rainfall pattern. Some oils have even won top international awards. Europe France In France, the cuisine of Corsica has much in common with the Italian cuisine, since the island was from the early Middle Ages until 1768 first of a Pisan and then a Genoese possession. This is above all relevant by the first courses and by the charcuterie. Great Britain Pizza and pasta dishes such as spaghetti bolognese and lasagna with bolognese ragu and bechamel sauce are the most popular forms of Italian food in British, notably, English, cuisine. Slovenia Italian cuisine has had a strong influence on Slovenian cuisine. For centuries, northeastern Italy and western Slovenia have formed part of the same cultural historical and geographical space. Between 1918 and 1945, Western Slovenia, the Slovenian littoral and part of Inner Carniola, were part of Italy. In addition, an autochthonous Italian minority live in Slovenian Istria. For these reasons Italian dishes have penetrated the local Slovenian cuisine. Furthermore, there are numerous typical dishes that are shared between the Slovenian cuisines and the cuisine of the neighboring Italian region of Friuli Venezia Giulia. These include the gubana nut roll of Friuli, known as gubinka or potica in Slovenia, and the hota stew. Among the Slovenian dishes that come directly from Italian cuisine, the gnocchi and some types of pasta are especially popular, as well as dishes like the minestrone, known as minestra in Slovene, or the frittata, known as frittalja in Slovene. Prosciutto, prosciutto in Slovenian, and polenta are also popular. North and Central America Canada and the USA Much of Italian-American cuisine is based on that found in Campania and Sicily, heavily Americanized to reflect ingredients and conditions found in the United States. Most pizza eaten around the world derives ultimately from the Neapolitan style, if somewhat thicker and usually with more toppings in terms of quantity. Mexico Throughout the country the torta de milanesa is a common item offered at food carts and stalls. It is a sandwich made from locally baked bread and contains a breaded pan-fried cutlet of pork or beef. Pescado veracruzano is a dish that originates from the port city of Veracruz and features a fillet of fresh fish, usually Gulf Red Snapper, covered in a distinctly Mediterranean-influenced sauce containing stewed tomatoes, garlic, green olives, and capers. Also, espagueti, spaghetti, and other pastas are popular in a variety of soups. South America Argentina Due to large Italian immigration to Argentina, Italian food and drink is heavily featured in Argentine cuisine. An example could be Milanese's, the name comes from the original Cotoletta alla Milanese from Milan, Italy, or breaded cutlets. 
Pizza, locally pronounced pizza or pizza, for example, has been wholly subsumed and in its Argentine form more closely resembles Italian calzones than it does its Italian ancestor. There are several other Italian Argentine dishes, such as Sorrentinos and Argentine gnocchi. Brazil Italian cuisine is popular in Brazil, due to great immigration there in the late 1800s and early 1900s. Due to the huge Italian community, São Paulo is the place where this cuisine is most appreciated. Several types of pasta and meat, including Milanese steaks, have made their way into both daily home and street kitchens and fancy restaurants. The city has also developed its particular variety of pizza, different from both Neapolitan and American varieties, and it is largely popular on weekend dinners. In Rio de Janeiro Italian cuisine is also popular, and pizza has developed as a typical boatquim counter snack. Venezuela There is considerable Italian influence in Venezuelan cuisine. Pan ciabatta, or Venezuelan ciabatta, pan siciliano, Sicilian bread, cannoli siciliano, Sicilian cannoli, and the drink chinotto are examples of the Italian influence in Venezuelan food and beverages. See also Notes References Capati, Alberto and Montanari, Massimo. Italian Cuisine, A Cultural History. New York, Columbia University Press, 2003. ISBN 0-231-12232-2. Del Conte, Anna. The Concise Gastronomy of Italy. USA, Barnes & Noble Books, 2004. ISBN 1-86205-662-5. Dickey, John, Delizia. The Epic History of Italians and Their Food, New York, 2008. Evans, Matthew, Cassi, Gabriella, Dengia, Peter, World Food Italy. CA, Lonely Planet Publications Thai Limited, 2000. ISBN 1-86450-022-0. Pacioli, Emilio. L'arte della cucina in Italia. Milano, Inaudi, 1987, in Italian. Hazan, Marcella, Essentials of Classic Italian Cooking, Alfred A. Knopf, 27 October 1992, hardcover, 704 pages, ISBN 978-0394584041. Copland, Stephen, Smith, Brian H., Weiss, Michael A., Exploring Wine, New York, Van Nostrand Reinholdt, 1996. ISBN 0-471-35295-0. Pieris, Claudia and Medagliani, Eugenio. Culinaria Italy. Cologne, Kohnmann Verlagsgesellschaft MBH, 2000. ISBN 3-8290-2901-2. Further reading. Riley, Gillian, 2007. The Oxford Companion to Italian Food. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-860617-8. The Italian Academy of Cuisine, Accademia Italiana della Cucina, 2009. La Cucina, The Regional Cooking of Italy. Trans. J. Hyams. New York, Rizzoli. ISBN 978-0-8478-3147-0. OCLC 303,040,489. The longest and most extensive Italian cookbook with over 2,000 recipes, including background information regarding each recipe. Thoms, Ulrich, From Migrant Food to Lifestyle Cooking, The Career of Italian Cuisine in Europe, European History Online, Mainz, Institute of European History, 2011, retrieved, the 22nd of June 2011. External links Italian Food – World's Most Influential Food. Thrillist